Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Scooby. Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get your very own custom mini debug menu in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you're interested, stick around. Now this is all done by this resource pack right here. The new coordinates hub MCPE plus debug menu. Now you do need it active. And of course it does come with a cogwheel and it's made by this person right here. And of course if you do want to download it for yourself or you do not have to install add-ons, links are in the description down below. So let's click on the cogwheel and as you can see we have different options here. Now this one just only gives you the coordinates, this one is without the experimental stuff and over here is with the experimental stuff. Now I recommend using the experimental one because it gives you a lot more information than the general normal one. But I'll show you all of them. So let's start off with just the coordinates one only and all you need to do is exit to apply it and hop into a world. And as you can see once we're in the world and you bring up your hotbar you can see that you have coordinates right there and the specific time to the digit. So this is actually very useful in telling exactly what time it is in Minecraft and also the coordinates is very useful in case there's a world there without coordinates enabled. And if you crouch you can actually see which direction you're facing. So right now facing west, north, east, South. So that's very useful in all terms of like trying to find where your home is and which direction you're generally traveling. For this to function nicely you do want to turn off this setting right here in your video over here. You want to turn off hide paper doll. So make sure it's ticked off for this add-on to work nicely. So that's the first one done. Let's hop to the second one. Once again generally when you change your resolutions here you will need to restart Minecraft. So I'm going to change it to without experimental and reload Minecraft. And boom once again we're in the world and as you can see we have a new few items on the top left as you can see. And now that gives you your FPS, the days and the speed you're going which is the S. So you can see I'm going like one to like a lot of meters per second as you can tell. And there the C, I'm actually not sure what the C is, but it's still probably something useful. So as you can see, we still have the hot bar thing to tell which direction we're going. North, East, South, West, which is super neat. And of course, you still need that hide paper doll earth for this to function well. This one just gives you an extra option to see your FPS, which is I think is pretty nice and some other useful features. But on that, let's hop to the final one. And finally, the final one is the experimental one. Now, of course, when you save this, you're going to need to restart Minecraft and then I'll show you what this actually does. Now, for this final one, you may want to enable this experimental modem features in your world settings. This allows for more experimental features to be displayed on this debug menu, which is super neat. So other than that, hop into the world. And boom, once again, we are in the world. As you can see, it looks pretty similar, but now we have this new one called E, which is the amount of entities you have in this area. So of course, this is very useful in telling how, much, how your mob farm's gonna work, and how much it produces and all that goodness. So it's a good experimental feature to have. Now, of course, remember, you do need that option enabled in the game world settings, but on that, it works perfectly without it. So that's why you get three different options to choose which one suits you the best. Now, of course, this still has the which way you're facing when you crouch, as you can see, north, east, south, west, which is super useful. And of course, you need the hide paper dolls earth for that feature to work. Anyways, that's how you can get your very own custom mini debug menu in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you've made it this far, comment down mushroom in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And welcome to the end screen credits. I'm your host Scooby once again telling you how great this video is. And if you did enjoy, you can click this video right above my head and it's super good.